Insta 360. All right. Sorry about that delay. Technology. Get you squared away here on the on the GoPro. All right, Martin Creek Lake is actually a power plant lake, so the water is pretty warm year round. Fishing's pretty good, so I've been told. State Park is not real large, but it is sure enough a pretty Texas State Park. Lots of big pine trees. Stop sign. We're breaking the law. Breaking the law. All right, we're going to scoot on down here pretty quick. day use area we'll kind of zip through there real quick just to give you a feel for it there's a swimming beach Whoop, hold on gotta reset the camera camera fell sorry we'll keep we'll keep rolling The, the swim beach was an in and out loop. Not that impressive, but I know my boat ramp fans have got to want to see their boat ramp. There are actually two boat ramps. And I think they're they're least there's at least three lanes well that's a two-laner so it's four lanes and three courtesy docks there you go there's camping on the other side of the bridge if you want to see that you'll have to go back in time to this past Sunday and see the experiential video most of them. There have been a couple that I didn't say that about. A couple of family friendly cabins there with air conditioning. There are at least two small cottages with air conditioning and a lot of screen shelters. So the screen shelters are, you know, you don't need a tent. Cot sleeping bag, you're good to go. This is a, a loop, so we're gonna go this way. All the cabins are gonna be on our left side. 
call them cabins. They're shelters. They're not cabins. They're shelters. There's a duder, that white pickup. He's a duder. So if you're not, if you don't know what a duder is, that's the people who are crazy enough to go camping with me in the coldest of winter and the hottest of summer. If you're interested in learning more about that, the buzzard days and dillo days, you can jump over to Facebook and we have a Facebook group called Duders, D-U-D-E-R-V-S meet all the, the crazy people that follow me around all right now we're now we're getting into some some RV campsites we're gonna end up doing probably a little bit of backtracking for some of it because the way this lays out is yeah they'll just they'll just force me to turn around and drive the scooter that much further These are all 30 amp sites, vacuums. There are no pull through sites or full connection sites at Martin Creek Lake State Park. All right, so we're gonna run up here and then I'll turn around so we can see the ones on the right. We'll double up on, the, on these loops. If you're on the Insta360 video, you can pause and rotate, look up, look down. That's provided my Insta360 camera is choosing to work. I've had some issues with it the last couple of places I've visited. All right, now we're going we're going to do a turn around and give you a look at the other side well, I got number 25 that looks nice and level quite a bit of tree canopy here. Most of your sites are very well shaded. So if you're relying on uh, an internet connection, Starlink, yeah, you gotta, you gotta find a clearing. And most of them, as you can tell, most of the campsites don't have much in the way of clearing. I'm in the I'm in the best site for Starline. All right, heading over to the the second loop. And it's the longer loop. But before we do that, let's cruise through the give you a look at the dump station. You know it's a small campground when I'm specifically going out of my way to show you the dump station. Two laner. And no no curve. That's actually a really good dump station. So we're going to do this loop twice because it's a bi-directional, meaning go to the left or odd numbers, go to the right or even numbers. We'll go to the right first. But you're going to be, you're going to want to focus on the left side.
pretty here. There are quite a few uh, campground host opportunities available here. There's only one campground host site that's unoccupied. I mean, that is occupied. Whatever I'm trying to say. previous visit we were in this site Yappy and Ziva met a copperhead a little copperhead crossing the road in the in the afternoon late you, you'll see my campsite on the the the, la the return. We'll wrap up there. I find a majority of the sites are they're they're okay. I mean, you, you got you got to be mindful of of the slope. And if, if you drive a motor home, you're, you're well aware. You want to make sure all four tires stay on the ground. Uh oh, we got, a, we got a big rig coming our way. Get on my side of the road here. Beautiful tent camping weather. I was almost forced to put on pants this morning. And socks. And shoes. But I toughed it out. There is an ant problem here. I don't know if it's the Argentinian ants or what they are, but you definitely want to bring some triazocide or, or something with you to keep the, the ants away. We woke up to a bunch of ants in the RV this morning. Okay, we have reached the end, so we're going to turn around and give you the a look at the other side. Camera back up in position. You have no worries about camping in style here. Every site is equipped with a double lantern hook or trash bag holder, whatever, whatever, however you use it. There, there's, they're doubles. small site for that big fifth wheel.
getting their grandkids camping. That's a good site right there. Nice and level. And this is a good one too. That's 43. I like 43. A lot. There's Miss Trudy Thunder in all her glory. Pay close attention to this Class C four winds. Uh, you should not have your wheels off the ground like that. back and clue it out. Side number 38. Those are always so much fun. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta get my cover. Can't be running around without my cover on. There we go. <laughs> are you still with me? I sure appreciate you riding along. If you found some value out of this video, please click on that howdy button. Post a comment down there and tell me what you thought was the best part of this run. If there's something that I could improve upon, I can take some honest feedback, so please feel free to give that to me. If you've not already, I would be most honored if you would consider clicking on the subscribe button. Doesn't cost you a dime. Remember to hit that bell as well so you'll never miss another edition of the Dude RV Traveling Road Show. For those of you who have been following along, thank you. Touches my heart that you take some of your valuable time and you spend it with me. Thank you for that. And for our patrons, we are, we are most grateful for your generosity. Thank you. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?